team, uh, Gary Thomas here from Wiley Sprocket. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna really try to attack some of the, uh, the payroll and reporting and labor uh, uh, challenges that are involved in running your business when you're uh, running uh, the Square POS system. And you know, just to acknowledge uh, Square has done a phenomenal job uh, over the past year in integrating <clears throat> some of the labor management capabilities into Square for labor tracking. So now in Square, you're able to allow your employees to clock in and out. Uh, you're able to uh, track labor and, and really understand what those trends are and um, even integrate your labor into Square Payroll. So I think those are, those are absolutely fantastic. If you're a single uh, uh, unit business, in other words, you have one store, you're a small business, with maybe less than 10 employees, uh, these features are absolutely fantastic. But if you're a, a multi-unit uh, business with more than 10 employees, or you're running a mobile business, or you're running any type of multiple locations, and you're, you're trying to divide up um, all of your different employees with all of your different uh, cost centers, and you're trying to, to run reports to understand what unit is making uh, the most money or, or um, what units, what's the profitability, what's the analysis in each unit, uh, Square has a long ways to go on that. And so because of this, I'm gonna talk to, uh, talk to everybody a little bit today about something called Homebase. Um, if you haven't seen Homebase, uh, it is a phenomenal uh, application that, that's been like a fine wine. It's, it's got better over time. And the other neat thing about home base is in addition to being able to allow your employees to clock in and out, uh, in addition to being able to schedule employees, it does offer uh, many of the same labor management reportings, and even in some cases more in depth uh, than the Square system allows you to do. And so, um, one of the things uh, I would basically say, if I were to go into the um, home base uh, portal here, um, this is only one of the features. Home base gives you an app that you can use, and we'll talk about that here uh, shortly. But one of the huge benefits uh, that I that I love about it is uh, obviously um, one on one uh, being able to. Uh, we'll go in here right here, and we'll do a schedule. Um, so being able to write a schedule and not only that, being able to take those employees and, and, and allow those employees to work in different locations. So if you have a, if you have a large organization with five locations or 10 locations in, and being able to flex employees, uh, uh, it is, it does an absolutely phenomenal job. Uh, it has things like a message board. We can go in here. It has a message board so you can go ahead and you can, uh, chat with your entire team if you want. Um, you can go ahead and even send your entire team an email. <clears throat> uh, when it comes to uh, some of the other uh, reporting challenges that you may have with your business, Homebase is going to also allow you to run what I call leakage reports. So <clears throat> the, the number of hours you're scheduling versus the actual amount of hours that employees are working. It allow, also allows employees to give shift feedback on what's working and what's not. You can do a labor cost summary. Um, you can set up a, a lot of different um, uh, permissions that allow other people to schedule for you. So um, this system is what I call a total um, HR management solution. And for small business owners, <clears throat> being able to being able to record and, uh, and document um, some of the behaviors or the progress, the positive things that your employees are doing over time, um, we can go in here to, uh, to home base here and um, I can click on any one of my uh, team members and uh, we'll go ahead and click on a team member here and I can go ahead uh, and uh, look at um, any particular notes. We'll look at this employee here. I can look at notes uh, that this employee has has had regarding uh, their progress. Um, I can set up different wages, different roles, time off requests. Um, if there's a termination history, if they've uh, 
if they've been uh, working for us in the past, we can go ahead and and, and really uh, look chronologically if the employee left us. And so one of the important things, again, about being a, a business owner um, is keeping everything internally in the business. And a lot of you uh, will results are writing things on post-it notes or you'll send uh, a, an email to their personal email address or you'll send them a message letting them know that uh, you know maybe their behavior or their performance isn't what you thought. Uh, but keeping that information internally from an HR management standpoint really just takes your business to another level uh, in being able to manage and, and grow it. Um, you know, some of the other interesting things about Square, or excuse me, about Homebase is that it's scalable beyond Square. So if you decide to, to switch away from Square in the future, um, this is something that you can take with you. And again, most importantly, a uh, home base um, integrates between the Square POS system. So it's pulling the data in from Square and it's giving you hour by hour labor management. If I were to take my iPhone right here and I were to go to uh, home base, it has everything uh, in virtually the web version is going to be on the phone uh, on your iPhone. And so if a team member is sending you a message or there's a time adjustment, or you need to communicate with your staff. Maybe you just need to communicate with your managers. Maybe you need just to communicate with your employees. Maybe you need to communicate with the entire organization. It goes beyond just labor tracking. Uh, and there's even a manager's log where you can uh, communicate uh, between managers. And so, uh, you know, every employee uh, is able to download the home base app. And that is internally how we are able to communicate through the entire organization. And so when you think of the integration, you have labor tracking, you have scheduling, you have HR management, you have employee communications, you have employee logs, you have employee progress reports. Um, you know, maybe a time in attendance is a huge uh, thing for you. Well, you're able to um, even go in here and uh, let's say that uh, a particular employee uh, wants a raise. Well, you can click on their profile and I can see here in the last 30 days that this employee has been on time 100% of the time. So that's, that's pretty good. But the other thing I can do is uh, I can look since they were hired uh, out of a total of 331 shifts, they were on, on time only 89% of the time. Pretty significant. And uh, you can use that for performance evaluations and other things. Okay, so we've talked about the integration with Square. We've talked about uh, some of the benefits of home base. Now let's talk about running a uh, payroll. Um, one of the things that I love is that home base allows you to port all of the information from uh, the home base application into QuickBooks payroll if you have it. But not only that, since every employee in home base is mapped to the particular cost center, so since every employee is mapped to the particular cost center, what home base has the capability of doing with QuickBooks is it will actually map every employee to what cost center they need to go to. And let's take a look at how that works. So the first thing is um, when you uh, set up uh, in, in payroll in QuickBooks, what's going to happen is you're going to have the, the workers tab right here. And so these are all of your workers. Uh, and this, this one's exciting here. I just saw one that said 6,000 a month. Oh, that's, uh, that's my wife. Okay. Anyway, um, so if I go into the, uh, the payroll settings feature here, and I'll go to accounting preferences. This is where uh, you're able to map um, where all of your different expenses um, go to. So there's you have state taxes, you have regular pay, salary pay, vacation pay. And in QuickBooks, if you want to, you can map all of those different items to different lines, which is really, really cool versus having just this lump sum. So to be able to get granular and understand how much of your company's expenses are going to things like vacation time or bonuses or tips and being able to look at that in 
your your profit and loss statement is a is a huge benefit and so you can get as granular as you want and as your business starts to grow it becomes ever um, so important so here's the thing with employees though i'm going to go ahead i'm going to scoot myself out of the way here and if you look to the side here if you look like right right there i guess you had a point that right there if you look right there um, you can see how i'm able to map every single employee to the uh, various cost centers in my organization which is huge because i don't want to be sitting there mathematically calculating you know which location had what payroll it would be very time consuming and expensive to do this and so the benefit if i were to get out of this here we'll just go ahead and move this over so you can see my face the benefit of this is that once I go into my reports, QuickBooks Online has a really cool feature called class tracking. Look at this. And we're gonna go here to last year. So if I go to last year, I have all of my different um, cost centers. So one, two, three, four, five, six different cost centers, six different locations within QuickBooks. And you know, in another video, I talk about how to get Square to get very granular on your sales. Square actually has the ability not only to separate locations, but to also get very granular on what information goes into QuickBooks. Um, if you're interested in that, you can reach out to me and, or comment below. But that's a different video. Um, through Homebase, though, what it will do is if I go to my uh, wages line, I always pass it. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, payroll expenses. I can see that uh, the uh, what QuickBooks is doing, let me just, uh, oh, this is, uh, I wanna go, oh, I gotta run it first, there we go. Let's run the report for, there we go. So what I wanna do here, so we're gonna go to uh, payroll expenses at the very top here, you can see at the very top, I can see where all of my expenses uh, went to. Uh, I can see exactly where um, all of my uh, payroll went to so that when I run my profit and loss statement, I know which store um, spent the most money. And so the little convention things here, that's credit. So where I had a team member um, work in the convention center from Sparks that we credited their store. But um, all of this information here, if I were to click on it, um, you can see all of this information is being ported from Homebase into QuickBooks, and then it's being separated into the appropriate cost center. So um, just a really cool feature. It really does save us thousands and thousands of hours of bookkeeping time and expenses. I'm not sitting there having to pay someone. Uh, it really is just my wife and I running a multi-million dollar organization. And you know, it's fortunate that we're able to take the time to let the application uh, program interfaces, the apps, uh, with the various companies do the work for you. Um, is there a cost in uh, for home base? Absolutely, there is a cost for home base, but when you um, think of the legal protection, when you think of the ability to communicate with your organization, um, in addition to scheduling, in addition to real-time labor tracking, um, in addition to giving your employees an app that's totally cool that they can customize, that they can communicate and keep it internal within all of the organization, in addition to um, being able to integrate between Square and QuickBooks, it's pretty phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> just a little thing about QuickBooks payroll. And uh, I just wanna talk about the cost for a second. And I'll go ahead and move this over here. So you, again, you can see my pretty face. Let me just get this out of here. Um, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, so Square only costs uh, $29 a month. QuickBooks payroll costs $80 a month. Here's the kicker though. Square charges $5 a month for, per employee with QuickBooks payroll only charging four. And so Square, from a perception standpoint, would seem to be less money. But the kicker is that once you get to more than 10 employees, uh, QuickBooks payroll actually drops their per employee fee down to $2.50. So once you get to 20 employees, Square actually becomes more expensive 
with less features. And so this is where, you know, under 20 employees, you could probably do the journal entries and things like that if you want to pull your hair out in QuickBooks yourself in chopping, chopping up all the data. But once you get to more than 20 employees and once you get to more than one location, you can see uh, I average about 50 employees per year. Um, in the summer, I'll go up to 65, 75 employees. I'm saving about 30% through QuickBooks payroll. And so uh, I'd love for you to uh, comment below, ask me any questions. Um, if you want, you can also visit my website, wileysprocket.com, and reach out to me for any uh, professional needs. Thank you.